Hey everybody, it's Rory. We're upstairs with Vic today. We brought him upstairs to uh, sit and talk about some stuff. We get asked all the time about weights. Weights on things. How much does this one weigh? Well, it's how much is this lighter is this gun than the other gun? Um, and so we thought we'd come upstairs and bring a bunch of stuff up here and just talk about does weight in a setup really make a difference? Does it make you a better player? Does it make you faster? Does it make you run further? Does it make you jump higher? Does it make you shoot people? But I don't know. But people ask all the time, and I and there's always a belief that lighter is better. Now, when it comes to, I think, a level of play, lightness can make a difference. If you're a pro player and you're playing at the echelon of paintball, then yeah, maybe weight makes a difference. But other than that, I don't really know if it makes that big of a difference. So, I don't have let this guy weigh in on that. Yeah, it really depends on what you're playing, whether you're playing recreational paintball, if you're playing tournament level paintball. Um, I think there's a big factor on weight. Some people think that lighter weight setups make you move quicker. Um, so yeah, it depends what type of paintball you're playing. If you're playing recreational paintball, I believe maybe lightweight doesn't matter to you. But in my standpoint, from playing speedball, um, the lighter setup is definitely the most helpful. If I'm running a super lightweight setup, if I'm playing Snake or if I'm playing the 50, I want to be able to get there quicker. Um, if I got something holding me down, then maybe I'll get shot off of the brake and I won't be able to make it. Get shot off the brake a lot. Um, yeah, I agree. Uh, if you, obviously from a, a from like a... a, a, a physical scientific standpoint from weights if you're running a setup that's lighter you could move quicker i mean you, there's no denying the fact that you possibly could run faster or quicker or bring your gun up faster if it's lighter but yeah you can't deny that but i only think that matters at a certain level i don't know if it really matters if you're out playing with your friends you know hiding behind some trees in a forest shooting at things so um Let's kind of look at what we got set up right here. Um, we know that Dynasty shoots the Field One Force. Field One Force also is probably not the lightest gun that's on the market right there. And that's not, you know, an opinion. That's a fact. It's a bigger, heavier gun. Dynasty seems to succeed with it. And that doesn't mean that they're going to be a million times better with a lighter gun. They're a million times better with this gun right here, and they play fine. So heavier gun, maybe it works for you, maybe it doesn't, but I don't think it makes you a better player. What do you got? And on this side, I've got the Shocker Amp, and everybody knows that the Shocker Amp is one of the lightest guns in the market. Uh, in today's market, there's a lot of guns that are light in general, um, but we brought out the Shocker Amp to show you, and I've got a few other things over here. One of the lightest tanks in the market as well, the Empire Ultra right here, a CTRL loader, and a carbon fiber barrel just to kind of make it the lightest setup possible to show you guys the differences yeah uh for me shooting i prefer to shoot a heavier gun now that's not saying that i don't like shooting light guns because they're fun to shoot too but physically in my hands a light gun i feel it shoot more now maybe that's something you like like you like the feeling of a gun shooting then a light gun may be for you but for me a heavier gun with a little bit more material on it feels better when it shoots because it doesn't vibrate as much it doesn't ring as i'm shooting it um i like the weight of a gun and i think maybe because i've played paintball for so long i'm used to shooting heavy guns back in the day when we shot guns that were extremely heavy it's just maybe i've, I've got a skewed look on it but i prefer that um these guys yeah. Shoot guns that are light. From yeah. the newer generation standpoint, I like the lightest setup possible. I want to be able to move, get my gun up, shoot people. Uh, but that's not a big factor compared to, to other people, I guess. Um, but from my standpoint, I want the lightest setup. I want that carbon barrel on there, lightest loader, lightest tank, so I can get to my spot. But I also play recreational paintball, and um, I still like the lightest setup on that. <laughs> <laughs> I like to get to the spots that nobody can get to and won't but be you, shot do out. Do you really think that you get to those spots because your gear's lighter? I think it helps, yeah. Right. Uh, I mean, if I got a giant gun and a giant loader weighing me down, I'm not going to be 
running I don't know. to the top. I don't know about that. Oh. All right, well, let's, let's just weigh some stuff. Let's just kind of just throw some things up on the thing here. Where is this? Can you see that on here? Yeah, all right. So I'm going to move you. Let's move your mask out of the way. Let's, let's just do some loaders here first. So an R2 right here. Um, obviously, these don't have paint in them. So the weights are going to be on all of this stuff right here. Um, just as they would come right out of the box right there. So uh, no big deal. Make sure this is zeroed out. All right. So an R2, just nothing right there. One pound, one ounce. So not that heavy pound in an ounce got a control loader right there which is under a pound so we're looking 14 ounces right there so no paint no, no paint no paint 16 ounces in a pound so you're under right there like seven eighths and then we're over right there it's 1.2 so that's like one and an eighth kind of right there so obviously weight makes a difference right here as far as just overall setup you add a quarter ounce here, you add, you know, a quarter pound here, you add this, that, this, over uh, a bunch of things, that is going to add up. You know, you're gonna get eventually maybe a pound or pound and a half more weight. But I, I mean, again, when it comes down to what you're doing, yeah, what I think you're what you're playing is where it's at. So here's an EVS. Is it still in frame right there? Yeah, so an EVS. Um, EBS is definitely a bigger goggle. It's a big goggle. It's got a really big lens on it. So uh, you're getting the, the the visual field of view because the lens is so giant. But maybe you're sacrificing weight for that right there. So that's 15.4. So that's almost a one-pound goggle right there. And I've got the Proflex. got a Proflex. I'm going to do it upside down. Yeah, this thing's already light as is. Look at that. So that's... I don't know if you can see that on there. Let me turn it. About 0.12. That's 0.12. So that's three quarters of a pound. And what was this one again? Very light. Three quarters. And this one is just about a pound right there. So just under 16 ounces. Um, so again, weight difference right there between the two. So we're at, uh, you know, a quarter of a pound. And then what was the, 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 that right there was almost the same thing, right? Wasn't that like, close, seven, yeah, close eight, enough. Or, yeah. or maybe half a pound getting close to a half a pound difference right there so cool. far. So again, it does add up obviously. And then you still got the gun. But yeah, yeah, you haven't gone there. Let's go with this. So a 48, 3000, this has a lot to do. Uh, obviously I know that a tournament player who's actively playing tournament paintball is not going to be on the field with a 48 3000 aluminum bottle. That's right. But your recreational player might be on the field with a 48 3000 bottle mm -hmm. with a, a gun like this. You know, the setups that you see out there, they, they're wild right there. So yeah. a tank like this, you've got basic reg on both of them. This is almost a three pound bottle right here. Two pounds, 15 ounces. That's heavy for a bottle right there. And that's a 48 cubic inch at 3000 PSI. 4,500 PSI carbon yeah. tank. You got a 68, so you're getting space. You've got um, a higher fill pressure, so you're getting capacity, and you're <laughs> a pound lighter. This is just under two pounds. This was just under three pounds. So again, that makes a that makes a big difference. A pound difference, just right off the bat right there, makes a huge difference. But there's obviously a giant price difference, yeah. and a level of play that this tank caters to this tank caters to a different level of play that's right that's <laughs> that's right that's right you got that right there um you want to do guns yeah let's do guns all right guns uh field one force i really like the field one force now there's a ton of people out there obviously who like the force there's a lot of people who don't like the force because they're like oh god's so heavy oh my god how do you play with a gun like that well obviously people play with it because teams win with this gun yeah. so uh we got two pounds five ounces right there so we're just over two and a quarter pounds right there on the field one force Get the shocker yeah so that's a pound 12 ounces. What would I say? Two and a quarter on this one? Yeah, two and a quarter. So that's uh, that's one and three quarters. So that's a half pound difference right there. So between the amp 
and the force, a half pound in weight difference right there. You combine that with the bottles, a pound difference, you're at a pound and a half difference right there. Loaders, then get to the other thing, get to barrels. Maybe you want to go carbon barrel. carbon fiber barrel. Let's just do the, you know, put it on there, just do the barrel by itself. All right. So this, I mean, obviously, go ahead, throw it on there. <coughs> this doesn't weigh anything. Oh, oh, I actually read it. Two ounces, almost three ounces right there. Going over to a full aluminum kit. This is the Deli Winds barrel, by the way. Five ounces right there. Does, the that have an, does that have an insert in this it? This has an insert as well, 689 insert. This doesn't have an insert in it. So we're not accounting for the weight of the insert in here. But we're at five ounces, and that was what, three ounces? Three ounces. That's three ounces with the insert. This is five ounces without the insert. But again, I... Nothing against carbon fiber barrels. I don't like to shoot carbon fiber barrels. I don't like how it makes the front of my gun so much lighter than the back of my gun. I've got a heavy tank on the back. I've got a gun that's whatever weight in the middle, but then I've got a barrel that's got no weight to the front of it. And I don't like that. I like a little bit of weight at the front. It actually helps me shoot, I think. Personal preference. I don't know about this guy. I think he loves carbon fiber barrels. I like barrels. the design. Ah! It's going down. I like the design of the carbon fiber barrel. I mean, you can't even feel it when you lift lift up your gun. I like that feel. Uh, that's just my preference. And the fact that it accepts inserts like all other barrels, I think that's cool as well. Yeah, I, I feel like I get more barrel rise with a lightweight barrel as I'm shooting, and I have to control that more mm. rather than something with a little bit more weight on it that helps keep my gun level to where I'm going. But Maybe that's just me. I don't know. So that's, we got those going on there. I'm going to take this and put it back up there. What about packs? Packs? Um, I mean, packs, as you start to get into the clothing aspect of things, you know, pants can make a difference. And I think pants can make a difference on more than one front as far as how comfortable the pant is, how it fits you. Um, like the pants from back in the day. Like huge, giant, giant pants. Pants with gigantic pads in them. Yeah. They were had a lot of padding, mm -hmm. but they were really hard to play in. Yeah. They're just big and bulky pants. Obviously, those are gonna weigh more than a pair of like uh dye ULC pants or uh some TRK joggers or something like that that are um everyone's making joggers now, so they're yeah. all lightweight pants. They're all now. light they're... pants. So I mean that stuff, jerseys are all super mesh, lightweight, dry fit nonsense now. Back in the day, that was a whole different thing as well. Giant arm pads in them and chest pads and stuff like that. So the clothing has really gotten to a point where I think it's all really trending light. Yeah, pretty much. Um, but packs, obviously not packs. You got strap, a, strapless. Yeah. Here's a Empire harness. Troll or a um, contact pack right here. Just the pack by itself. Yeah, let's get this out of the way. So, it goes on there. so this is just the pack. We were at uh, one pound, 10 ounces. So just over a pound and a half right there. But again, no pods in here or anything like that. And then we've got, what is this? Z, the, the, uh, the ZGX harness? Yeah, that, that's, that's their new one right new there. One. Uh, let's see what that weighs. So that one's actually slightly heavier. But, I mean, look at the difference in padding on this yeah. thing. You've got this giant ass pad inside here. Yeah. You don't really get that in this padding or in this pack right here. There's, there's not a lot of padding in the back side of this. But a lot of, I think you can remove some of that, can't you? Yeah, you can make it tighter. Um, padding, I don't think you can remove, but the pack about the can make it tighter on the pods. The, these ones. Or do oh. they just fold up? Oh, they fold up. Actually, no, you can remove it. Can yeah, there you padding, go. Make it lighter. Take the other one off too. But then again, this is strapless and that's strapped. Right. But I assume that Let's would be heavy. This one is again, right? One point one pound eight ounces. See, without the padding. One pound fourteen ounces. So it definitely dropped down some weight right there. <laughs> so you're at six ounces heavier, so you're just under half a pound heavier on this one. But you get a strapless pack on that one. You don't have the straps uh, to deal with. You have adjustable slotting on there. You can really fit more pods into that one. Yeah. Um, but again, this, I think the minutia of the clothing really is not as um, important, important yeah. as the gear itself. Um, Actual setup. 
So, I mean, obviously this is a long-winded explanation as to is weight important. Um, at a high level? I would say, I would say yes. Yeah. At a high level paintball, um, weight is definitely important. But for people who are getting involved in the sport, people who are going out to uh, have some fun with their friends and family on a weekend, the weight of things should not be a factor in in whether you're going to have fun or not. Yeah, that's right. You can go out there with anything uh, and have a great time from the cheapest setup to the most expensive setup. The weight isn't something that should be on your mind at that point. You should just be going out and having fun. Um, you got anything to add? Yeah, that's, I mean, you hit it right on the head. Um, weight doesn't really matter if, if unless you're playing at a high tournament, uh, high tournament paintball then i it's gonna matter but if you're playing recreational paintball it's not gonna matter uh you could buy anything any setup you'll have fun with your buddies just go out and shoot people and play paintball yeah i mean uh let us know what you think comment down below and uh let us know your stance on weight as far as a factor and i'm talking about product weight mm -hmm. not other weight um but product weight, as far as whether that is a true factor in paintball at certain levels, yeah. you know? Um, so yeah, uh, I think that's it. Hopefully, you know, obviously we can shed a little light on just things that people always ask us about. Uh, if there's videos you'd like to see us compare, contrast, talk about whatever it happens to be, put them in the comments down below. Um, this is Vic, in case you haven't seen Vic before he's in the channel all the time he's in the Instagram stuff all the time and the TikTok -y stuff all the time um so you'll probably see more of him too anywho let us know down below comment down below let us know what you think uh we'll see you next time take it easy